Hello, welcome back to a new vlog. I am just in Harrogate. We landed from Chamonix and we came straight from Manchester Airport to Harrogate because today is Mother's Day. I thought it would be quite nice to do a Yorkshire vlog with you and take you around a few places. So this morning we went straight to a Blaze class, my favourite, then went to my friend's cafe called the Savvy Baker, grabbed some brownies to take home for mum and we also got an iced latte. And now we are just, well we've just arrived in Harrogate, we're going to head for some afternoon tea, a nice little walk and it's just going to be nice to be back in the Yorkshire air. Had a lovely morning so far so let's go she knows where she's going how does she know finished our afternoon tea we went to a place called Jesper's it was really nice usually we would go to Betty's when we were on Harrogate and it's really funny because I just got back from Chamonix obviously and I actually met a server in Chamonix who knew Betty's because he lived in York there's a Betty's in Harrogate and York but Betty's aren't dog friendly which is so sad so we always miss out on Betty's now because we bring our gorgeous maple with us but we did have a really nice afternoon tea anyway and it meant that we got to try somewhere new so Jesper's was really nice it was my mum's was, was it your aunt or cousin my mum's cousin recommended it and oh my gosh the brownie we had we both took a bite and we were like I think it's the best brownie I've ever had it came and it wasn't like a traditional afternoon tea it was kind of like a quirky afternoon tea with like quiches and little bites instead of like huge cakes and oh my gosh the brownie was so good next time we'll go back and just get like an entire tray of the brownie so now we're just walking around Harrogate we're gonna walk past Betty's actually maybe pop in and get something to take away and walk around the park we have a Joe Malone in Harrogate. Also a Space and K, lots of Turner Malt and Brown. Basically, like four of my favourite shops actually. When you add Joe Malone to the crew as well. Lines outside. There's always a line outside Betty's. It's just like the best afternoon tea and cakes. It's actually Swiss and Yorkshire together. One of my favourite things to do is to just have a peek at the Betty selection and see what they've got. You can take it in turns and go in without the dog. <laughs> A little something from that. Got my little gold coin. Oh, we found a doggy friendly shop. Perfect. Mum can actually go dog friendly now. Yeah, a lot of shops allow dogs in now, which is nice. Lavender soap. Candle. This is really nice. I'm pretty certain that this shop, they have toast. I'm sure they have it in London, or maybe it's just a northern thing, I can't remember. They have menswear in here as well, yeah. So cute. Oh, should we pop in? Let's look at the homeware store. Are you okay to bring the dog in? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, how cute. Oh, you know, I'm a sucker for homeware. I know, and I love it when stuff's stored in, like, baskets. I also absolutely am into um, striped bed linen. No, and it's lovely quality as well. We really love their soaps. The soaps are absolutely beautiful. Oh, they have them. Oh, how much is this me? It's a boucle water bottle cover. Yeah, I love that. I'm loving the minimalism. I like Scandi vibes. It's very Scandi, yeah. I, and they're dog friendly in here, look. Waggy tails. Dog. See, I really like it. I got sent some brownies from a friend from here. Maybe need to try some different brownies. Also, they do breakfast here as well. I always buy people gifts from here if I want something local. Unfortunately, I don't think they're dog friendly, but really cute little old school sweet shop we had a really good brunch here at Hoxton North it's a nice little spot and you can see this is a road we just came up and Betty's is up there and then there's lots of shops there <laughs> is that fun 
She loves scratching on the grass. You looking like me? Wee! <laughs> happy dog. She's a very happy dog, aren't you? You've had so much attention today. Fluffy and gorgeous. <laughs> you are just living your best, happiest life, aren't you? Aren't you? Yes, you are. <laughs> Sounds really good. This is new. Decaf coffee only. Where's he? You throw it at people. That's so funny. <laughs> and then have a little look. How gorgeous. How lovely, it smells great, doesn't it? Oh, I love thick. It smells incredible. We sell this brand in um, Bailey and Sage. It's so nice. Look at these soaps. These would be great gifts. You're handsome, you're lovely. Mum absolutely loves this shop. There's one in Ilkley, one in Weatherby, we at the one in Harrogate, and Mum got a lovely console table from here. It's really nice. Closed, but lovely. Look at the big foot, how random. Another shop that we would always shop in with my nana. I do love jewels, they do great raincoats. I forgot how nice all of the bonuses look. How nice his candles are. Gorgeous design. I love his diffuser as well. I love anything fluted and this is absolutely gorgeous. This is such a huge Oliver bonus store. It's absolutely gorgeous. How nice is this chair? I would love this in my house. I know, I was saying, how nice is that? I do not need another action chair, but if I did, I would love that. And I'm loving these watering cans. Look at this one. The bonus is elite for gifts. Like, how nice are these if you want to give them a gift? So this would, I would probably use this as a jewelry case for travel. And that obviously a wash bag. I really love these. I have some matches like this at home. I actually got them from Etsy. Um, and you just match the bottom. And they, they just look so pretty. It's a nicer way to store matches. No, the homeware in here is just so nice. This is the biggest store ever. I can't believe how big this store is. It's giving me anthropology vibes actually with the homeware. They've turned from like a jewelry and gift shop into homeware interiors. You like all of a bonus? Oh, they've got doggy things. Look at this bookshelf. This is so aesthetically pleasing. Oh my gosh, Oliver bonus. Oh, I bought Emily this book for him. I bought you that book as well, yeah. I bought you that book and Emily that book. <laughs> it's a very good book. Like, I just think the colours and everything is really fun. I actually got you a mug from here that said Mama on it, remember? Look how nice, and they've got a Papa one. Creme de la creme. They do, this is giving me anthropology vibes, it really is. Gosh, are these shot glasses? They're the nicest shot glasses I have ever seen. I remember when I was absolutely obsessed with glass pineapples, I've got so many of these. Hello, you and Oliver Bonus pup now. I love Mr. Oliver Bonus for letting dogs in here. I love this cushion with the ruffles. Really pretty. So we took it in turns and we popped into Betty's to have a look at the Easter selection. Oh my goodness, they had sold out of pretty much everything. I did buy a big gold chocolate coin for Matt and it's kind of like Willy Wonka. I don't know why, I feel like you have to go in there and buy something special. But mum and I were just saying it's quite bittersweet because we used to always go to Betty's with my nana. My nana absolutely loved Betty's so we will keep that tradition alive. But I hope that they will become dog friendly one day. But yeah, Betty's is just, honestly, it's just the best. I don't know how you describe it to people. It's like the Swiss meets Yorkshire. I tell everyone about Betty's. It's kind of like just the best. It's not even a patisserie. It's a cafe and tea room, isn't it? Just the best cafe and tea room. I think it's better than anywhere in London, to be honest. But it's just epic. They do great food, great service, great cakes. Even if you can just pop in and get a vanilla slice. I would have loved a vanilla slice today, but they'd sold out. Go and get a fat rascal. They're famous for their fat rascals. They're like super scones on steroids. So we're just going to head to the Stray now, which is another park in Harrogate. We've just been to Valley Gardens. Now we're heading to the Stray.
They have an ochre in Harrogate, uh, which I had no idea about. I'm so used to going to the ones in London and the one in the Cotswolds. And they have such beautiful artificial flowers in here. And doggy friendly. <laughs> I love the flowers in here, I think they're so nice. Great sale on 40% off quite a lot of things. £67 for one plate, that was a little bit steep, I have to say. Yeah, I do like those for like big salads and stuff. And in summer they'll be absolutely gorgeous. I love this, this is so beautiful. Yeah, I think that would be gorgeous in like a neutral kitchen. Oh yeah, these bowls are great. You could have them forever. And we are home. Brownies from Savvy Baker. I also got my mum some, I don't know, the leggings and an Anina Bing jumper, but it's the plants and the cards that are the most important special parts with the words in. I always keep cards from my nana and my mum, and I got my mum some really cute cards. We've got some pictures of us on, and one from Maple. She loves Malton Brown, so I got some Malton Brown as well. And Daisy Chain is her favourite florist, so got her some gorgeous plants from Daisy Chain. And then she got some flowers as well, and we got all of these pictures out by Nana, because it's obviously our first Mother's Day without Nana. So it's a tough one, which is important that we spend it together, but look at her. How amazing. Love you, Nana. Good morning. I'm back in Harrogate. I'm with Grandad. We are just heading for lunch today. I've had a really bad migraine this morning, so I am just taking it easy, but I've got my vision back, which is nice. Um, heading for some nice lunch and then heading for a walk. Granddad trying some hummus. Have you never tried hummus? Mm. Well, let's get the taste test. Uh, it's chickpeas. It's like spiced. You might want to use a fork. Thoughts, scores on the door. Happy? Thumbs up? <laughs> yeah, you can tell. Very fresh. Look at me showing Granddad new experiences. Thank <laughs> Granddad is obsessed with fish, so it's going to be interesting to get him to try these cod sliders. This is cod sliders, cod cheek sliders actually. Cod cheek slider, Grant. I love cauliflower, satin cauliflower. Go for it, yeah, squeeze it on. Oh, this is amazing, the ravioli. Amazing. Oh, ketchup and mayo, please. You gonna be happy sat there? <laughs> no, you're fine. Enjoy your cup of tea. <laughs> I'm back from the most delicious lunch. I've got my pajamas on. Matt's mum actually got me these for Christmas. They are so soft and delicious. Hello, Maple. Maple's just waiting for her salmon stick. So we were in Harrogate today with my grandpa. Oh, baby, the salmon stick's coming. She gets really upset if she doesn't have her fish flatties. Comment below if anyone has a dog and their dog loves fish flatties. Come here. You want to say hi to the vlog? Um, it's because she wants a fish flatty. She wants a fish flatty. Come on, What's this? What's this? This is a fish flatty time. Come on, darling. Come on. Come on, then. Come on. Sorry about that. So we were in Harrogate and we had lunch at a place called Three's A Crowd, which I have wanted to go to for so long. I walk past it all the time. There's one in Leeds and there's one in Harrogate. It was so good amazing and i got to catch up with my granddad which was so nice and they were so sweet to him we went for a walk after and he was like can i stay here and have a cup of tea and they got him a little table in the corner and they're dog friendly it's really hard to find good dog friendly places and like i say we can't go to betty's because it's not dog friendly but i did pop into betty's today and they did have some vanilla slices left but i didn't get one because I'm trying to be a bit healthier Good 
morning. I am pleased to say the migraine that I had yesterday after my class lifted and I'm feeling good today. I actually went to a blaze class. I have drank so much water because I'm convinced these visual migraines are due to dehydration. So I've had like <laughs> two liters already today. You can drown your body, so don't drink too much water. I'm not a doctor, but I am trying to rehydrate. So, been to a class, feeling good. It was hard because my back's a little bit sore, but feeling good. And now we are actually heading to Leeds today. Last, that's my mama. Last night we just stayed in and actually watched Succession, which I'm obsessed with, with some chocolate, lots of chocolate. I brought so much chocolate back from Switzerland and also France. So we had French chocolate and Swiss chocolate. I have to say, I think the Swiss one was better. I got like this lint chocolate with praline in. It was so good. So, heading to Leeds, gonna go get some brunch, check out some new spots in Leeds, do a little bit of shopping maybe. And also, I'm heading to see my friend who has just rebranded her beauty salon. So, let's go, mama. Try a new little spot for some brunch, see if there's some room for us. They are. <laughs> Well, she went straight in, didn't she? <laughs> Turkish eggs for me. A loomy sandwich for mum and the sausage. It's not for mum. <laughs> Matcha and cannolis. It's just suddenly got windy out here, but we got some little cannolis. My mum told me that these cannolis are epic and I love cannolis, so we're in a bit of a wind tunnel. We're just out there, but take it out and then. We bought one to like no mum. We bought one for Matt. And my mum was like, Are you tempted to eat Matt? And I was like, Yeah. And she was like, Well, let's eat Matt. So we got Matt the um hazelnut florentine one so i'm now going to taste this i'm so sorry the wind keeps blowing in my face giving one lemon one to take home to my stepdad it's kind of like wrapped in a florentine it's so sticky and delicious hello maple <laughs> So we had brunch, we headed to a spot that we wanted to go to, but I think we went to the wrong one. There's a few of them in Leeds, and the one that we went to was more of like um, a communal workspace. It was a bit dark, but I had Turkish eggs, they were nice. One had a sandwich, it was average. I think it's more of like a good spot for a coffee and a cake, and we'll try the one on Call Lane next time. Call Lane is like a street of bars. It's really funny because I used to go out there when I was 18, and it's really funny because now there's like really nice bars, cafes, restaurants on there. So we'll go to the cafe version next time because they apparently do great pancakes. Then we headed to La Bottega Milanese which is mum's favourite coffee spot in Leeds. It was really good. The cannoli, oh my gosh, I'm going at the Florentine one. Now we are heading to the nail bar that I've been going to since I was honestly, gosh how old was I when I first went to the nail bar, ragdoll nails, probably like 20 or something. Anyway, I followed them from the corner exchange in Leeds and then they moved home to the city centre and now they have rebranded and my friend actually owns it so I'm gonna head in, see what she's up to. I'm not getting my nails done because my nails are still perfect but I just wanna go and say hi. I love going into this Oliver Bonus, it's such a nice one with patisserie ballerina at his stall. So this is Brigitte, this is where I used to do my shopping growing up. Harvey Nichols and Boodle, sadly we can't go to Harvey Nichols because I'm not dog friendly. Harvey Nichols with you in the shopping. I got my first ever Juicy Control bag from there. Harvey Nichols should be dog friendly because Selfridges and Harrods are. That would be a dream. I just just want to look in the window at Boodles. There wasn't a Boodles here last time I was in Leeds. Oh gosh, I love that second one. The round Facials, lash lifts, brow lamination, manicure, pedicure. She does it all. It's completely rebranded, which is so lovely. These chairs are so nice. And look at the tap, a gold tap. This will be perfect in my house. Getting a little patch test. Mm -hmm. 
you get the welded bracelets that everyone's literally obsessed with. We went to see Laura who owns Ragdoll Nails which is now called Sable. They're doing like express facials. I actually went for a patch test so I can get my brows done there next time. It's so beautiful in there and I've been going since I was a student. So if you are in Yorkshire, please go there, get your facials, get your brows done, get your nails done. We're now just in County Arcade which is one of my absolute favourites in Leeds. It's so beautiful for shopping in here. She goes into Reefs. I absolutely love this. I don't know if it's a dress or if it's a top and a skirt. It's so nice. And this coat, it's so lovely. We're just on doggy duty, aren't we? And they also have a coach in here now as well, which excites me a lot. Oh my goodness, they have the tabby in pink. <gasps> I'm not into the purple, but I am into the pink. Absolutely beautiful. And this black one with the gold hardware. I really need this. What a beautiful coach store. The security guard just came in to see me and I was like, are you going to kick us out? And he was like, oh my gosh, no. You're definitely allowed in here with her. And I was like, oh, thanks. Have fun. <laughs> in between the shopping. Okay. Careful. In between shopping, we roll in the grass. Lewis is dog friendly, so John Lewis we can pop into today, which is so exciting. Where are these beauty Easter eggs from Rituals? 37.50, that's great. I love Rituals. Oh wow, and this is what's inside her. Mom and I are Molten Brown mega fans. We are obsessed with their hand wash sets. Look, I love the pink. So beautifully laid down here. I haven't been to this John Lewis for years. So nice. And they have all of the Loxitan refills in here as well just saying she wanted to see a hotel chocolate and then here we go in john lewis i didn't know that john lewis sold oh no i did actually because i bought it online but i've never seen it in store this is a great slap i feel like this is very valentine's day gosh i've got hotel chocolate easter stuff absolutely amazing i remember getting one of these one year oh my gosh tony's easter eggs it's honestly incredible love Philip Kingsley so much I haven't seen it in the store before I actually have a huge one of the elasticizer I've just finished it it is such a great product oh here this it is such a great product for damaged hair I absolutely love seeing spring things in store or seasonal things it gets me so excited oh I I saw this online I thought it would be so cute for an Easter hunt or for like Easter decorations really love that oh. women's fashion Lovely. Oh, it's making me excited for summer. Oh, they've got some like summery barber scarves. Never seen those before, like lightweight ones. They have an All Saints in here, and I actually have this, and I shrunk it. But I shrunk it by accident, and the wash mine does not feel this soft. Might have to get another one. And then they have the Balfour now and they do it with gold hardware, which I think is so much nicer than the original ones. Emily and I saw this in Selfridges and we loved the color of it. I haven't seen a mango in store for so long. I absolutely love this jacket. That's so nice, isn't it? It's 59 pounds. I'll link this below, guys. That's gorgeous. Jumper as well. I love the two-toned of it. It's nice to see a mango, yeah. Can't imagine seeing, I don't think, didn't know that John Lewis stopped mango. Makes sense though. And my mum, it's such a nice shopping experience in here. It's so calm and dog friendly. I really love Nobody's Child. I used to actually buy Nobody's Child when it was stocked in Topshop. What a gorgeous spring display they've got going on. Looking at some gorgeous cardigans in Ted Baker. I actually have a dress in this print. Such great quality. I love the cardigan version. Everything is so nice and spring-like. Absolutely love this. This is so pretty. I really like this. This with jeans would be so nice. How nice is that? That looks so good. I think that's really nice. I love the print and everything. Yeah, I like it. 
It reminds me of Britney Spears in um, Crossroads, a movie, <laughs> when she has floaty sleeves, yeah. Well, that's why I get ketchup on things, because of sleeves like that. No, I love it. So now we are in Victoria Gate, which is one of my favourite places to shop in Leeds, the White Company. I love Neil. Always have an and other stories in here. How lovely. They have a Wheaton's in Harrogate, and since I last came to Victoria Gate, they now actually have a Wheaton's in here in Leeds. It's like a gorgeous deli selling loads of bits and bobs with like really lovely chocolates and stuff. How lovely that they have one in Leeds now. Mom and I used to be obsessed with Yorkshire crisps, they're so delicious. And oh my gosh, they sell bollies. I love this brand so much. They have like Yorkshire things like Yorkshire rapeseed oil, Yorkshire honey and mustard. Lovely condiments for the kitchen. They have an anthropology in here as well. I remember when we got an anthropology in Leeds, I could not believe. No, they do have homeware, it's all just dotted around. So they just have loads of stuff inside here. Absolutely love anthropology homeware, it's just amazing. I actually love this range, I think it's so nice. Love this one. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love these. Lovely for spring actually. I'll link the sale if I can find the sale online. Now four pounds on sale. How beautiful. Because online they don't have any names left, if you know what I mean. They've got more in store. Love a doggy friendly shopping centre. Look how beautiful this is. We absolutely love the sky in here. Beautiful. A kilogram of fish flatties have come for you. Oh, you so comfy in Victoria Gay. There's an ivy here now, and I actually used to work inside here for years. I used to work at this very old Saint Star, and Matt worked there as well. All the memories. Lots of ten store in here now as well. I just think this arcade is so beautiful. Always been one of my favourite places in Leeds to shop. Yeah, so nice. So, Mum and I have just sat down at a spot called Olive and Rye to just rest and eat so she can have a little nap. We were just saying at Victoria Quarter and Victoria Gate. Oh my goodness, the service in there with dogs, they are so kind. The security guards, we were in anthropology and the sales assistant was so lovely to us and so lovely to Maple and she was saying that anthropology and urban outfit is now dog friendly. She also said that all of the shops in Victoria Gate Shopping Centre in Leeds are dog friendly and honestly, it was such a great experience for the dogs so we're very happy. So now we're just sat, about to have a little tea or coffee or something nice, maybe a cake while mates rest. Go while well, you're having a little rest, and they brought you some water, which is always lovely. Sat in this lovely arcade. This is Queen's Arcade. Mum doesn't do cream press, I do cream press like butter. You would do jam press. I'm happy to try your way. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, I'm happy to try your way. Guys, comment below do you put cream first or jam first? I thought the Queen did cream first, that's why I do it. Because the cream acts like butter, no? Do you not think? I think the Cornish way to do it is jam first, actually. Could be wrong. which is actually where I studied at the University of Leeds, so it's super nostalgic. I lived in one of these beautiful townhouses for, oh my gosh, two or three years. I was studied for four years. I think I lived in one for three years, didn't I? Three years. Oh no, one of them was, no, I was in Canada. Two years, sorry. Two years I lived in it, I'll show you. It was so nice. So let's have a wonder, Maple's first time on campus. It was very handy when I could do my lectures in some of these lecture buildings. Trust me, they were great. This is my old oh, yeah. flat. Yeah. Yeah. How yeah, wonderful, yeah. I lived in here at one point, and then 
I think I lived in the one next door at another point as well actually because I lived in two different ones didn't I? Need University. Here we are, we're back. Lovely, beautiful. This was my building where I did most of my lectures and this is where I sat my exams. Inside the Great Hall. How funny. It gives me a real Harry Potter Hogwarts vibes. shop bakery 164 it's been here for years it was my brother's absolute favorite bakery and sandwich shop he was obsessed with it i don't even know if it's good but back then it was unreal hey guys it's a new day now i'm sorry for not vlogging for a few days but can you believe i mean i'm so grateful for my health but i had my visual migraine which was really not fun but managed to see my granddad still came around from it and then oh my goodness I I don't know if it's food poisoning I didn't eat any meat but I know you can get food poisoning from other things I've just been knocked out for an entire day and it has been horrific but yeah it was not fun I'll spare you the gory details but I don't know if it was food poisoning but it sure felt like food poisoning something needed to be removed from the body so yeah not how I expected to finish this vlog I've had the nicest few days with my mum it was so nice to go into Leeds, to see where I used to go to university, to go to some favourite old spots, find some new spots, obviously to go to Harrogate. I was saying we'll pop to York next time I do a Yorkshire vlog. I've also saved so many food spots for next time I come, so I'll take Matt to some of them and then I can take you guys, but I just thought it would be nice to vlog up north. It's really nice to hear like the birds, I mean I can hear the birds in my garden in London, I'm very lucky, but ugh. The birds in the garden here are very special so yeah i'm kind of just like recovering getting a little bit better definitely a note to myself to just get some more greens in my diet get more sleep really take care of myself um and that's a note to you guys as well so yeah thank you for watching this vlog i hope you enjoyed coming home with me and back to london we go but thank you so much for watching it if you made it this far comment below and say if you've ever been to yorkshire or not thank you for watching come say hi on instagram at mchellax